I'm going to show you now how to do some customization of the terminal. And what I'm going to show you is just a temporary thing, but eventually we'll talk about how to make permanent changes to your terminal session. One thing you may want to do is actually set up some shortcuts for yourself. Often I'm going to do something like ls minus la, and ls is just list, so it lists the files, and minus la says a long listing and all of them. So these are the parameters for the command ls. I'm going to type that an awful lot, so maybe I really want to make a shortcut for that. Well, I can use an alias command and say ll equals ls minus la. Now, if I do ll, I get basically ls minus la. Now, I can also do rm asterisk, which says delete everything. And that's a pretty common mistake that people make sometimes is typing rm asterisk and deleting everything without realizing where they are and all of the files they're going to be deleting. So a pretty common alias sometimes is setting rm to actually be equal to rm minus i meaning it's going to ask me. So now if I do rm asterisk, it's going to say, do you really want to remove that? I say no, and of course it's not going to remove the directories because I need to do rm dir in order to be able to remove a directory. So I've got some ability to change what I want to do. So if there's something I'm typing an awful lot, I could say t equals top. Now if I type T, I'm going to get top. So I can set up a lot of aliases for myself that save me some typing. And of course, one of the things about Unix or Linux commands is they tend to be really short. But when you start chaining them together, you end up with a lot of typing. And you may want to set aliases for a number of things that you're going to chain together. And we'll talk more about chaining commands in a little bit. But when you start getting into really the power of the command line, you're probably going to want to set some aliases for yourself. And knowing the alias command is really helpful because you can set up these shortcuts so you can save yourself some typing.